Hey what's up guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an infinity room. If you don't know what this is, I'll be showing you right now in a second. Okay, so we're going to go down here. If you don't know what an infinity room is, it's basically this. You don't know where you're looking at. This is really weird. This, it's impossible, it's almost impossible to get out from here, uh, as you can see right now, but there is no point of reference. I'm moving my mouse, you see my, my hand moving, but there is no way of getting out without placing blocks or breaking out. This is really good to troll your friends, because they'll probably think that your, that their game is crashed or something, or something of the sort. But it's really hard to get out as you see right here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make, how to get, uh, how to make, yeah, how to make this. Oh, I got out. Yay. So this is, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Okay guys, so how you make this infinity room is really, really hard. It's going to take you a very, very long time to make. It's going to take you a lot of resources. So basically, how you make this is, you grab a map, and then you need to cover the whole map with snow. In creative, it's a lot easier. You can do it with normal snow blocks, but if you do it in survival, well, that's going to take you ages. So what you would need to do is grab a silk touch uh, shovel, and just grab the, grab the snow you find in a snowy area with that. You will need a silk touch shovel. If you use a normal shovel, it will just give you snowballs, and you won't be able to do it. So the area is 120, uh, 120 blocks by 120 blocks. In total, that means there are 1,400. Oh wait, four, sorry, 14,400 blocks of snow. That is a lot of snow, and it's gonna take you eight. This is, I mean, this is about. This is the area you have to cover in order to make to cover a full map with white. You're going to want to do it on a, a non-snowy area because then it's going to snow on top of this and it it will there are some blocks will be darker than others and it won't look as clean as over here. So try to make it in a, an area where there isn't snow like a desert or just a sea or somewhere somewhere like this. Okay guys, so now that I have finished uh covering covering it all in what you have to do is basically get a bunch of maps and then as you see all of these maps are completely white over here you go to you go to my inventory they're all white they're all completely white this took me an hour and 13 minutes to cover in it took ages to cover in and it was very boring it was very very boring Okay, so now I'll be showing you how to make the actual room and how to make it uh, so that you can, so that it's how you saw it from before. Okay, guys. So the first thing you want to do is probably dig out, uh, dig out something uh, down here. Dig out a hole. It doesn't. It shouldn't be too big. Um, it shouldn't be too big. Okay, so you want to make the surfaces out of out of glowstone. Because if not, it, it'll all be dark and you won't be able to see my, you won't be able to see the, the the white walls as you saw before. You won't be able to see them, so it'll kind of lose. Um, you it won't work properly. So just make it out of glowstone. You can also make it out of sea lanterns if you if you want. Whatever it's easier for you to get. But it's is gonna uh, take a lot of glowstone to make this e even a small room like even a small room like this is going to take a lot of glowstone to make okay so we put that like so okay so yeah basically just cover up the whole room with glowstone and then you'll uh, make the second uh, step which is um, putting item frames everywhere. This will 
uh, take up a lot of resources. Uh, this is going to take a loads and loads of resources. It's going to take you ages just to finish one room. Just, even just to get the materials. That's probably going to be the longest part apart from uh, making the giant white space for the maps. It's, it's going to take ages. Okay, so once you have this, you come here and you want to put two sides. This is going to be the way to get out. And you, you could also make, for example, if you want to make... So let me grab, for example, stairs. If you want to make this into a meeting room, I'll grab this. I'll, I'll just make two chairs over here. Wait, no, you... Sorry, I forgot, you can put a... So just, for example, have... I'm going to make two chairs over here in a second. Yeah, good enough. You have two chairs over here. Two chairs over here for a meeting room. Or if you want to have it just pl like plain with nothing, nothing else, you could just take them out. If you really want to like mess with your friends. So you also need to put a, a sign over here so you can put an item frame there like this should be able to no not there it's a, it's a bit hard to get it there you go like that. now you just want to no come on I need to crouch for that okay now you just want to put item frame everywhere you shouldn't put you shouldn't make the room too big because then it will be very laggy. The reason for this is because item frames are considered entities. And if you don't know what entities are in Minecraft, there are things like mobs and like any animal mobs. And I, I don't know why, but item frames are considered are considered entities. So you, if you make it too big, then there will be too many entities and it's going to go really, really laggy. So you just fill up the place with iron frames, this is going to take a lot of, of um, leather to make. This is going to take loads of resources. You also want to make the way out, so try to put... Yeah, there you go. And there. Try to put two iron frames there. So that you won't be able to see the exit. Like this. Just cover it all up. This is also going to take a lot of redstone because you need to make loads of maps for this. And a lot of glowstone dust. So now then, just start placing it. As you can see here, there's no point of reference. You can't really see anything. And it's like, it's really hard. Like, it's almost impossible to know where you're at. But you will eventually hit a hit a wall, and uh, you won't. You'll stop walking. If you make it really big, then obviously there will be there will be more space, and it'll be harder to find the exit. But it will go a lot more laggy once once you look that direction. So just trying to make this around like it should be around this um like this space so that you can. I, I, I recommend you to make it like this because then you, you'll be able to see all the things. That is like that because there's daylight right now. Wait, uh, I have the night vision collision on. So right now, as you can see over there, I took the night vision collision off. It works perfectly over there. Okay, so now I just need to cover it all. I suggest you leave the door open so that you can know how to get out 
I'll also need to put all of the sides because if not they'll be able to see where like where the thing is so don't leave us like where the exit are they will be able to know where they are don't leave a single spot without placing a map because then they'll be able to see where they are and it'll, it will make no sense you could add chairs and add some things in here to make it look more like um, like more to make it look cool cooler as you can see right now there's no point of reference I don't know where I'm looking at uh, right now I I can't see it but you can make this like a meeting room and it'll look pretty cool so now just add those two then you can go in and out whenever you want okay so so that's basically how you make uh, an infinity room now you could also have a hole here redstone contraption so that when they stand over here uh, your friends fall down and they won't know how to get out and uh, that's uh, up to you. that's up to you if you want to do that okay so guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one